All right, hi everyone. It's Miss Himmel. I'm here in my living room by my little library, and today I'm going to be reading you a book I love. It's called Violet's Music. It's about a little girl who loves music, and she demonstrates perseverance and ingenuity to find other people who can be her friends and love music too. So Violet's Music is written by Angela Johnson and is illustrated by Laura Holstinka Fife. Um, Laura, I apologize if I am saying your last name wrong. I'm going to make sure that you have a chance to see the pictures, boys and girls. So don't worry, I promise you'll get to see them. Violet's Music. When Violet was a baby, just a few hours old. She banged her rattle against the crib, hoping others in the nursery would join in. Boom, shake, beat, shake, all day long. Violet played that rattle. Could she find other babies to play along? No, she couldn't, but she'd keep looking. Violet played her music all alone. On Violet's second birthday, Aunt Bertha brought gifts and a box full of paper, crayons, glitter, and glue to make horns that would wail. Ooh, if you're stuck at home, you could do something like that. Maybe with a paper towel roll once you've used up all the towels. Violet tooted from morning till night. Wah, woo, woo, all day long. She tried to get everyone to toot with her all day. Wah, woo, woo, oh yeah. Violet blew that horn. Oh, look, there she is. She's in the laundry. Looks like her brother's playing a video game and she's trying to get him to play with her. You can just make a connection if that's ever happened to you, that your brothers and sisters don't want to play with you. Could she get her family to play with her? No, she couldn't. But she'd keep on looking. Violet blew her horn. All alone. There she is on the street. Violet wondered if in kindergarten, if enough kids would be like her. Oh, I read that wrong. I'm sorry, boys and girls. Violet wondered in kindergarten if there were other kids like her who dreamed of music, thought to music, all day long. Is going to school, getting ready to make new friends. Oh, oh, there's a teacher walking through the window. But she found that some liked to paint, some liked to paste, others liked to play in the sandbox, and still others just liked to stand around eating paste. No one wanted to play music all day long. I'm going to hold this picture here for just a few minutes. I want you to notice how many different activities you see children doing in this kindergarten classroom. Maybe you noticed some friends looking at the class pet. It looks like an aquarium. There's Somebody over here reading. Ooh, Cat's Cradle. That's a fun game. If you don't know how to play it, maybe we can do a video on that later. Oh, there's Violet. She's playing a triangle. We have that in our music classroom at school. Oh, there's gluing things. There's painting. There's drawing. Ooh, oh, there's the kid eating paste. Ew. One day at the beach, Violet played with a badminton racket. 
Now, a badminton racket is kind of like a tennis racket, but the handle is longer and skinnier, and the part that you use to hit the balls is smaller and a little bit more round. So it's, it's kind of like a tennis racket. Um, Violet played with a badminton racket, a pretend guitar, hoping someone would join in. Blink, blink, blunk, blunk. Violet played the guitar. Could she find a fellow guitarist buried in the sand? No. She couldn't, but she'd keep looking. Violet played her guitar all alone. With Violet, you see, it was music all the time. Breakfast time, dinner time, bath time, and all the times in between. Maybe you love music and you do music all the time. My parents, when I was little, had a rule. It was a no singing at the dinner table um, because otherwise I would just sing the whole time and I wouldn't eat my dinner. I know, crazy, huh? Whenever she walked down the street or hid behind the market's vegetable bins or sat on the fire escape, Violet was always looking for kids like her. Could she find them at the zoo? Nope. At the museum? Too quiet. And forget about the dentist. But she'd keep looking. Violet and her music. Always. Until, one day, a few summers later, Violet was playing her guitar, a real one now, in the park. Oh, look, there she is all grown up in the park. Clang, clang, yeah, yeah. Clang, clang, yeah. See lots of people out in the park. I think maybe it's springtime because I see a lot of green and some flowers. Or maybe late spring, early summer, before things start getting a little dried up. When over by the fountain, someone started beating a drum. And it looks like maybe she's playing with bongos, if we want to be super specific. Then, behind the jungle gym, a saxophone blew real smooth. Oh, look at that. Over beside the flower garden, someone started to sing. Now, Angel, Randy, and Juan are in Violet's band. And if you ask any of them, whether they thought they'd find each other, they'll say, oh yeah, we knew you, we would. Because when we were in the nursery, then we're two, and later in kindergarten and at the beach, we kept looking for kids playing music too. The All right, boys and girls, well, I hope you enjoyed that read aloud. This is one of the books I love, 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 um, just because music is everywhere, even if you don't have an instrument with you, even if you don't have people to make it with, it's still there. So keep making your music, keep reaching out and finding people. It's going to be a great day. Bye.